Hello everybody and welcome to my 20 official basic and excel tutorial and um, this tutorial is going to look into uh, user forms a little bit more again so uh, let's just continue where we left off so uh, let's delete everything on this user form so far and uh, we should probably delete the code as well if the code's still in there so uh, right click and view code so let's get rid of that um, and next thing I'm going to show you is combo box. So this is a little drop down box, and again, pretty similar to list box, um, and you use a drop down instead. So if you just scroll down to row source and put sheet one exclamation mark a one to a ten, and then you'll see that the um, list of people pops up here quite nicely um, and uh, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, this one which is uh, ref edit and this is similar to if you've used like data validation or graphs um, in that if we run this user form and you click on here then you get this little box that comes up, you highlight a range and click back on here and that's the range that's selected and um, you can then take the value of that and do whatever you want with it so let's have a little play around with that so let's put um, this here so please select range to change color and let's have a little text box so um, choose color index and I apologize for using the uh, British spelling of color um, because the code uses the American spelling of color but uh, it doesn't make much difference. Um, let's add in, say, let's just call this go because I don't want to have to change the size of the box. And let's go for this. So we want to take the value of that ref edit box, say, user form. So let's take it, say, uh, range. I want to use that as a variable name, so uh, name range, so, uh, range selected equals and user form one dot ref edit one dot value and that will take the value of whatever has been put in there and we also want the uh, colour index so colour index and it's all got to be one word index equals user form one dot uh, text box dot value and then we want to take the range so this workbook or let's just put um, range and then range selected dot uh, interior dot color index equals color index and I can use that colour index as a variable because I've added the good old British U in it. Um, then let's just hide the user form. So user form one dot hide. And then let's play that. So play. And let's select um, these people. And we'll have colour index twenty five, which I believe is green, uh, dark green. Um, and oh no it's blue I'm wrong 
my bad. Um, I know it was green or blue. Ten is green. Let's do it as ten. Let's try again. Um, so let's change this to ten. Go. And there we go, green. Just what I wanted. And uh, if you need the list of all of the color indexes, then just uh, check um, VBA color index into Google, and it'll bring up a whole list of them. Um, and that's it for user forms, really. There's a couple of other things you can do with them, but um, as long as you get used to the properties box, you can normally work out what they do. Uh, and that's the end of this tutorial, a uh, pretty quick and short one. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. And if you want to catch further ones, then please subscribe to my channel.